What is going on everybody? It is Chachi the Plumber. I'm an 18 year old apprentice and today I am installing this very expensive faucet in this very beautiful and neat bathroom. So first things first, let me introduce you to the faucet and the pop-up that we'll be installing. Yeah. So it is a beautiful a chrome finish and first things first is to insert the hoses and the faucet into the hole. Now accidentally I installed the two supplies prior to putting it in so when I put the nut on the nut actually wouldn't fit over the two supplies coming out those two male supplies coming out with the supplies on. So I had to take the supplies off and put the nut on and then as you'll see in the next clip after I tighten up this nut with my basin wrench I had to put the supplies on in the sink in the cabinet. Now I try to save some time and some effort by installing these supplies outside of the cabinet just because obviously you have more space to work but I had to take them apart and put them on now and when you put these supplies on don't forget to hold back with another pair of channel locks or pliers so you don't rip the supply going into the faucet because if you rip that supply you're finished say goodbye to that expensive faucet because there's no fixing it it's just gonna be leaking so for this pop-up we don't have to put any plumbers putty because luckily and fortunately it came with its own washer I love these click in pop ups just because we don't have to put the rod and that whole entire assembly in. And I just feel like they work so much better and they have less problems. So put the washer on and then this little piece of plastic. That plastic is so when you screw the nut on, it allows the nut to press against a firm surface rather than the softer, rubbery surface of the washer. So tighten it up with a pair of channel locks and you should be good to go. Now we're going to install the new P-trap. We're using an inch and a half tubular PVC P-trap and as you can see with the P-trap a regular straight tailpiece would not make it. So we have to get an inch and a quarter offset to offset it so we could fit the drain in properly without some wonky flexible tailpiece that you could find at Home Depot and obviously that's not what a real plumber does so we're gonna offset it and do it the right way so cut the first offset and figure out where you want it to go and grab your next piece and figure out how much you have to cut off to make the offset work and this does take a little bit of practice and there you go make sure you tighten everything up good and test everything for leaks by turning the water back on and running the water now usually for this my main concern is the drain for the most part all the supplies shouldn't be leaking I'm really concerned about the drain first thing we took the aerator out of course when we turned the valves back on just so that aerator doesn't get clogged up with any gunk we're going to screw the aerator back on, give it a test, and it's looking good. That's just some air in the system. We're going to close the pop-up, fill it up a little bit, drop the sink, check for any leaks, and we look good. Yes, bueno. So that's pretty much it. We cleaned everything up. We got the faucet turning hot and cold. And that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And say goodbye, Chachi. Later, guys.